Welcome back, and this week we start off with an amazing armor by Deserter X. It is called the Murda Black Rose Armor for the UMP and CBB bodies. This is the heavy armor uh, version of it. You can get also a light armor and a cloth version for this particular set, but the automatic download one that you do is the heavy version, so you would actually have to go into the options and download the uh, light version uh, and use it with the main file, which is the heavy one. Uh, same thing with the cloth version if you want that as well. Uh, pretty much it's what you come to expect from anything made by Deserter X. It is highly detailed, it is really unique, and pretty much uh, not something that you can craft unless you find the crafting book. The crafting book is in the Hall of Attainment in the College of Winterhold. Uh, so you'll actually have to go to the room that you're given when you first uh, join up with the mages to actually get the design to make this particular outfit. So if you like Deserter X work, this is another one that you will ex ex uh, pretty much enjoy right off the bat. As you can tell, the uh, shoulder, uh, well, basically the, sh the things that are up on the shoulders actually have the rows on it and you even get a staff. The staff, if uh, you hit a target with it, it w gives you uh, 60 seconds to kill the car target and it will fill a soul gem, so it actually has a function to it. Uh, this is a quite a revealing one, considering that it's a heavy armor, but we're not going to hold that against it. I mean, seriously, have you seen some of the ones that are on the Nexus? <laughs> well, let's see if I can get in real close. Uh, without clipping in. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, as you can tell, he's actually went in and uh, made the textures for uh, pretty much everything. You got that rose texture for the fringe or along the uh, sides of the armor. You have the textures for all the strings that hold everything together, and even the textures for the uh, small little rivet things that uh, hold the strings in place. Don't know what they're called. <laughs> And as you can tell, you will need an amulet of Mara to make the socks. So, just keep that in mind. So, this is another amazing mod by Deserter X. So, uh, show this one lots of appreciation because he does a lot of good work. And uh, don't know how, many, how much more he's going to be uh, making mods for Skyrim because he actually has a uh, project goal in mind for the number of uh, armors he's going to be making. So... Let's uh, hope that they keep modding Skyrim and then move on to Fallout. Uh, so, now on to the next mod. And our next mod is the uh, swords I'm currently using. It is the Wraith, a new sword by Billy Rowe. And this one actually adds a mod that you can go out and collect. And it's uh, pretty much an easy one to find if you've already found the location or know where the location is. Uh, they say in the description that the swords can be found at the Wainan Stones near the corpse of an Imperial soldier. But I didn't do that to get these. I don't even know where that is. Which is pretty sad. Because it escaped my escape time. <laughs> but the, as you can tell, it comes in both a one-handed version and a two-handed version as well. Uh, so, whatever version you feel like you would like to use, you can actually go off and use that. Let's go pick a fight. <laughs> the damage uh, for the sword itself, the, the one-handed sword, is only 20, whereas the damage for the two-handed sword is 60, so it's not going to be overpowered. <laughs> And as you can tell, it actually does a bit of damage, but I've also taken a ton of damage as well. And I've died. <laughs> as you can tell, it's not one of those mods that was made to be completely overpowered. It's actually a fairly good one that you can use in like everyday gameplay without having to worry. So, I uh, hope you like uh, these two mods, because I still have one mod left to show. Alright, now let's uh, let me get around to showing that one off. 
All right, and we have a follower mod that adds four follower bandits by, and it is called uh, Beautiful Bandits by Psycho Slaphead, which is probably one of the There's best names I've seen so far. <laughs> and it, 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 like, just outside Riverwood, uh, it's just down the, like, over there. You'll find uh, some bandits just camped out. As you tell, they're just like bandit marauder, bandit whatever. It's just like all. Never fears death. Just bandit it's names, as you can tell. Uh, there is a chest just over there, and inside of it is 5,000 gold, ebony yeah, armor, ebony chance. shield, ebony sword, yeah, five, uh, 500 uh, ebony arrows, and a bow. So, if you get this mod, there is a perk other than just the four followers we have here. And, let's see if I get close enough there to one of them. Honor in fighting for what you believe. As you can tell, they aren't all that bad looking. Uh, they pretty much are probably the so best looking bandits you'll ever people. be robbed by. Very few of them if not, pleasant. not robbed by. Completely up to you. You, They are all recruitable as followers, so you can uh, get them all to follow you around, and you can start your own little bandit group there is more roaming around them. and causing them just havoc and stealing and They say Thalman of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. As you can tell, they are actually having their own little conversations uh, about just random stuff, and they're not exactly uh, voice acted hmm? by other than just the uh, standard uh, voices that are the in the game itself. People looking to spill your blood. So, there is much to be done. I hope you like this episode. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and as always, if there's any mods that you would like to see, uh, let me know and I'll check them out. Uh, until then, take care. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed, and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come.